two birds, both with glossy black feathers and sharp, intelligent eyes. At first glance, they might seem identical, but upon closer inspection, their unique characteristics begin to emerge. These are crows and ravens, members of the Corvidae family. Members of the Corvidae family aren't just ordinary birds. They're among the most intelligent creatures on Earth. They can use tools, solve complex puzzles, and even hold grudges. Their cognitive abilities rival those of great apes, and their problem-solving skills continue to astonish scientists. In this video, we'll embark on a fascinating journey to explore the similarities and differences between these genius birds of the sky. From their physical appearance and problem-solving skills, to their distinct vocalizations and cultural symbolism, we'll uncover the captivating world of crows and ravens. When it comes to distinguishing between crows and ravens, size matters. Ravens are generally larger, with a body length of 22 to 27 inches and a wingspan that can reach up to 46 to 54 inches. Crows, on the other hand, are more compact, typically measuring 16 to 20 inches in length with a wingspan of 33 to 39 inches. This size difference is often the first clue in telling these birds apart. Another key distinguishing feature is the shape of their tails. Ravens have longer wedge-shaped tails that come to a point, while crows' tails are shorter and more squared off at the end. This difference in tail shape contributes to their unique flight patterns, with ravens tending to soar more, utilizing air currents to glide for extended periods. They're often seen performing acrobatic maneuvers, such as rolls and dives. Crows typically fly with more frequent wing flaps and follow straighter flight paths. They are less likely to engage in aerial acrobatics compared to their larger cousins. When it comes to their beaks, ravens have larger, more curved beaks compared to crows. This adaptation allows ravens to tackle a wider variety of food sources, including small animals. Although both birds have black plumage, there are subtle differences in their feather texture. Ravens have a shaggier appearance, particularly around their throat. These elongated throat feathers, called hackles, give ravens a distinctive ruffled look. Crows' feathers are smoother and more uniform in texture. One of the most fascinating aspects of both crows and ravens is their remarkable intelligence and problem-solving abilities. These birds have consistently demonstrated cognitive skills that rival those of great apes and even young human children in certain tasks. Both crows and ravens are known for their impressive tool use. For instance, New Caledonian crows have been observed crafting hooks from twigs to fish out grubs from tree crevices. Similarly, Ravens have been seen using stones to crack open nuts or eggs. These behaviors showcase not only their ability to use tools, but also their capacity to adapt and innovate in different situations. Social learning is another area where these birds excel. Crows, in particular, have been observed teaching each other new skills. In one famous study, urban crows in Japan learned to use traffic at crosswalks to crack open walnuts, a behavior that spread through the population. Ravens, while often seen in smaller groups, also demonstrate social learning, particularly within family units. When it comes to puzzle solving and memory, both species continue to impress researchers. In laboratory settings, crows have solved complex multi-step puzzles to obtain food rewards. In one famous experiment, a crow named 007 solved an eight-step puzzle to obtain food, demonstrating advanced problem-solving skills and memory. Ravens, on the other hand, have shown an ability to plan for the future, a skill previously thought to be unique to humans and great apes. In one experiment, ravens chose tools that would be useful for a task that they would encounter in the future, demonstrating both foresight and self-control. Perhaps most intriguingly, both crows and ravens have demonstrated an understanding of cause and effect relationships. They can solve problems that require them to grasp the concept of water displacement choosing to drop stones into water-filled tubes to raise the water level and access floating food. One of the most distinctive features that set crows and ravens apart is their unique vocalizations. While both birds are known for their vocal abilities, their calls and communication patterns differ significantly. Ravens are the more vocally diverse of the two and are renowned for their deep, resonant calls that can be described as a low, croaking sound. Their vocalizations are incredibly diverse, with over 30 different categories of recorded sounds. 
These range from low gurgles and high-pitched whistles to knocking noises. Ravens can even mimic other birds and animals, showcasing their impressive vocal range. In contrast, crows are famous for their iconic caw sound. Their calls are generally higher pitched and more nasal compared to ravens. Crows also have a variety of vocalizations, including rattles, coos, and even a sort of song-like sound used during courtship. Both species use their vocalizations for complex communication within their groups. Research has shown that these birds can convey specific information through their calls, such as alerting others to potential dangers or food sources. Interestingly, both crows and ravens have demonstrated the ability to recognize and remember individual human faces, associating them with positive or negative experiences. This recognition is often accompanied by specific vocalizations, further highlighting the sophistication of their communication systems. Crows and ravens exhibit distinct social behaviors and community structures that reflect their unique adaptations to different environments and lifestyles. Crows are highly social birds, often seen in large groups called murders. These gatherings can range from a few dozen to several hundred individuals, particularly during roosting or feeding times. This social structure allows crows to share information about food sources, potential threats, and even engage in cooperative behaviors. Crows are known to form strong family bonds, with offspring often staying with their parents for several years to help raise subsequent broods. In contrast, ravens are typically observed in pairs or small family units. They tend to be more solitary than crows, especially outside of the breeding season. Ravens form strong, monogamous pair bonds that often last for life. During the breeding season, raven pairs fiercely defend their territory against intruders, including other ravens. Both species exhibit complex social dynamics within their communities. Crows have been observed holding funerals for their dead, gathering around a deceased member of their group in what appears to be a form of mourning or information sharing about potential dangers. Ravens, while less gregarious, engage in sophisticated social behaviors, including reciprocal food sharing and coalition formation. In terms of their ecosystem roles, both crows and ravens are important scavengers, helping to clean up carrion and control pest populations. While both species have successfully colonized various environments, they each show distinct preferences in their choice of territory. Ravens tend to favor more remote and wild landscapes, making their homes in mountainous regions, coastal areas, and forests. They thrive in environments far from human settlements, where they can establish large territories for hunting and nesting. Their preference for wilderness areas allows them to maintain their more solitary lifestyle and hunting strategies. Crows, on the other hand, have become masters of urban adaptation. These highly versatile birds have successfully colonized cities, suburbs, and agricultural areas worldwide. Their ability to exploit human-created environments has led to their widespread presence in both urban and rural settings. Crows have learned to utilize artificial structures for nesting and have adapted their foraging behavior to take advantage of human-generated food sources. In areas where their territories overlap, these birds have developed interesting dynamics. While they generally avoid direct competition by occupying different ecological niches, they can sometimes be observed sharing the same space, particularly in semi-urban areas or parklands. So, the next time you spot a crow or raven, take a moment to observe its behavior. You might just witness an act of intelligence that will leave you in awe of these genius birds of the sky. Thanks for watching.